So this is how to easily melt aluminium at home and here are the things you'll need. So an extension need, hair dryer, something along the lines of a furnace. This is a thing I made myself out of some concrete and shit. And the lid for that just to contain the heat. Crucible. And now I recommend you use something else other than the can like this, but uh <laughs> that's all I have, so yeah. And of course some aluminium. I recommend actually using like bare aluminium pieces if you know what I mean instead of actually like cans like coke cans and stuff because there's an awful lot of slag generated from them and it's not as pure but uh, what also you can use is uh, is these cans you just need to make sure that you uh, cut a hole in them or cut them in half before you uh, put them in anyway so what I'm going to do to get the furnace going is I uh, just uh, put the can in the middle here and I put some pieces of wood and the stuff in around it just to keep get it going and uh, once it gets nice and hot and the wood starts to go down I'll put in some coal around it. Although you could use charcoal, it doesn't actually burn as hot so I'm using coal. There we go. It's lit up. So now we've started using the hair dryer and um, I've added in some coal just to get it nice and hot and uh, in a while I should start adding in some aluminium. So once you see the edges of the can getting uh, nice and hot, red hot right, you can start adding in some aluminium. So as you can see, I just poured it into this pot here, but uh, you could obviously pour it into some mold or there's also lost foam casting, but I do not have green sand or even clay sand, so I can't really do that at the moment. But uh, if you have a nice mold, uh, just make sure it's made out of steel or something with a higher um, melting point than aluminium. So here's the final product, nothing too exciting obviously, it's nice and light. Just, uh, there's the size of it. So I didn't melt down too much aluminium there because I noticed my uh, can that I was using as the crucible um, started to crack under the heat and started to uh, fall apart so I didn't want to add in any more in case it all spilled out. What you could use instead of a can for a crucible is uh, the bottom half of a fire extinguisher but unfortunately I have no empty fire extinguishers to cut in half so uh, I couldn't do that. Also another thing is, instead of uh, pouring this out onto the ground or into a pot like I did there, what you could also do is pour it into an ingot, if you have it, and um, or use the lost foam casting method, uh, which I'll provide a link on how to do that in the description.